Hi everybody, my name's Chris. I've been diagnosed with multiple mental health disorders. And today, using science, we're gonna discuss the correlation between mental illness and gun violence and what we should do about it. So stay tuned. I think that uh, mental health is your problem here. This was a very, based on preliminary reports, very deranged individual, a lot of problems over a long period of time. We have a lot of mental health problems in our country, as do other countries. But this isn't a guns situation. What's up, everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And that clip I just showed you is the problem. Those of you who are new here, I have a mental health channel on YouTube. This is not a political channel, but just so we get it straight, I'm gonna let you know my views on gun control. I am pro common sense gun control. You can own, own all the guns in the world. I don't care if you use a bazooka to blow up a deer, if that's what makes you happy, go for it. But I'm here to talk about the restrictions that keep getting bounced around in Congress that aren't getting passed based on people who struggle with mental health disorders. So, as I mentioned in that clip, I've been diagnosed with multiple mental health disorders. I struggle with anxiety and depression, okay? Now, I will let you know I'm five years sober, I manage my mental illness, and my life is pretty great, but these things still come and go. I'm touching on this subject because I am a Las Vegas local, and just a month ago, we had one of the biggest mass shootings in modern history. And Stephen Paddock was somebody who was diagnosed with anxiety. They talked about how he was given prescription medications for anxiety. Let's talk about what anxiety is real quick. This picture right here, that is your brain. The part of the brain I want you to focus on is the little part near the brain stem. That is the most primitive part of the brain called the limbic system. And within that limbic system lies the amygdala. The amygdala is responsible for our fight, flight, or freeze response. This is also responsible for anxiety. If you were to hook somebody up to a brain scan who struggles with anxiety, this is the part of the brain that would light up. Now, think about the different types of situations you get in when you have anxiety. Fight, flight, or freeze. Some people with anxiety, they get into the flight or freeze. They run away or they stay still. But it can also make a person very aggressive. This is the part of the brain that is controlling a lot of a person's emotions. So, somebody who struggles with anxiety and might get into fight mode or have a lot of aggression might not be the best person to give guns to. Now, other symptoms of anxiety, it causes a lot of very irrational fears. So, imagine putting a gun in the hands of somebody who is very paranoid, who is very on edge, who is scared. So, I just want you to kind of look at what somebody with anxiety is going through mentally and is it or is it not a good idea to give them a gun. Now, in the most recent shooting with Devin Kelly, he was discharged from the US Air Force and it was because of domestic violence, intentional domestic violence. We know this man has a history of violence. Now, the reports are still coming in, so I won't speak too much on this, but the reality is, is that it was known that this dude had mental illness. Now, something I will make very clear, they're still not sure how he was able to obtain the guns that he got because he was denied purchasing guns from other places. Now, we do know that he lied on a form, but with the proper background checks, you would see that he was denied guns in the past for these issues. If any of you follow my YouTube channel, you know that I have given Trump and his administration credit where credit's due, especially when it comes to the opioid crisis. And we're still waiting to see what's going on with that. But like, this isn't about left or right or anything like that. It's talking about using science of the brain to start crafting gun laws that will help keep more people safe. Gone are the days when somebody dies a tragic death by themselves and commits suicide. We now live in a time where when somebody is suicidal, they are trying to take as many people out with them as possible. And this is an issue. So please, please share this video with other people. Let people understand what is going on with mental health on a neurobiological level and maybe, maybe we can start pushing forward and letting Congress know that we don't care if people have guns, we just wanna keep them out of the wrong hands. Like, 
When somebody is convicted of sex crimes, especially when it's pedophilia, they are not allowed to live in a certain radius of schools or parks. Same thing when it comes to mental illness and guns. If somebody has that mental illness, we need to restrict their access to the thing that may harm themselves or harm others. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new here, know all my videos are not political. They're mainly just about mental health and mental illness and addiction, but I gotta talk about politics too because it's some real stuff. So if you're new here, please click that little round subscribe button right below and also to the left of me, I have a bunch of videos to help you with your personal struggles with emotional issues or mental illness. So click or tap on one of those thumbnails. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.